What is up guys? Dylan Westway here with Westy Outdoors. Uh, first video for the YouTube channel. Uh, today is Wednesday, April 1st uh, in central Wisconsin here. It is the opening day for bass fishing and unfortunately I'm not going to have my boat out today but I am going to go to a local pond that I meant to get to last year and never ended up doing. So I'm just going to take two rods with me today. I'll go over that with you real quick. Uh, the first rod here, my main rod I'm going to try to fish with today, uh, favorite defender. I've got a flipping jig on there from uh, Lake House Lures with a Yum Christy Craw trailer. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to go with the tried and true favorite Phantom with a uh, wacky rig hooked up to it. And if they don't bite the jig. I'm pretty confident the wacky rig is going to do some damage. So hopefully I can get out there and catch some nice fish today. All right, guys, change of plans. I brought a third rod. I brought a favorite six stick along. Uh, it is my Texas rig rod. I have realized that I left all or most of my Senkos in my boat at my dad's house where it's being stored right now. So I may not be able to throw the Senkos, so I decided we'll try some uh, Texas rig worms, Texas rig craws, um, see what we can get out of that pond. All right guys, we made it to the pond here. Uh, I see there's two other guys fishing it. Um, hopefully we can catch something. So I figured I'd make one pass around, all the way around with the jig. And if I don't have any luck with that, come back and grab a Texas rig. Or if I do have a couple of uh, Senkos, I'll try the wacky worm. Um, it's a pretty decent sized pond actually. There's a nice little island in the middle. Uh, looks like a lot of rocks. And I have a, a jig on. I don't have a football head tied on. I might have to do that. But I think the flipping jig will, will do just fine. Um, well, <clears throat> I'm gonna strap you onto the chesty and we will see you out on the pond. Well, that was fun. Jig caught in the tree first cast. You see they got some, uh, looks like maybe pallets down here for some fish cribs. Hopefully some bass laying up on those. Ooh, I see a swirl over here. So there's definitely fish in here. See if they bite.
Oh, I can see a really small bass sitting right there. Little guy. Try this pocket over here. Not sure on the depth at all of this pond either. I have no idea how deep it gets. If there's any big pockets in the center, deeper pockets. First time ever fishing this. Seems to be a little bit deeper off this end though. I can see tons of bass in here, little ones. I'll catch anything. <laughs> this jig might be a little too big for them. Tiny little guy. So it looks like there's a culvert over there. Water might be flowing into here. That's where that guy's hanging out right now. And then there is an exit drain to my right here, which should have a little bit of current. Maybe them, uh, them bass are hanging out near that but i i'm noticing this is a lot deeper water here i don't know if you guys can see that but it drops off pretty good right right close to shore here Let's go fish this drain over here. I guess on my way over, I'll talk a little bit about what I'm using here. Um, I'm using a favorite Defender 7.6 Heavy. I got my Daiwa Tatula CT 8.1 to 1 ratio reel. And uh, got a Lake House Lures. Uh, flipping jig here. This is the peanut butter and jelly PB and J color. And this is, I just found these the other day on my local fleet farm. Uh, the Yum Christy Craw in uh, summer craw color. And I really like how flimsy these limbs are. And they got some weight on the end here. So they make a lot of action in the water. I really like this craw as a trailer. Um, see if we can't catch something on it though. <clears throat>
Well, that sucks. Had to cut my line. Lost the PB and J. Uh, well, I got a PB and J football head I can always tie on, but I think I'm gonna go with a little different, a uh, little bit of a different presentation. Might get a worm out, Texas rig, something. There are a lot of, I see a lot of crawfish uh, pinchers. So there are definitely crawfish, crawfish, crayfish, whatever, in this pond. All right, guys, I have found a little bit of juice. I got two wacky worms, uh, watermelon, uh, green pumpkin colors with some flake in them. This one's about tore, but unfortunately I do not have my wacky tool. It must be in my, my boat. Can't find in my tackle box there. Uh, but I got two of these. I'm going to carry one with me. Try these out, see if we can't get any bites. Wacky. This never fails. Shore fishing at the pond was a complete failure. Uh, started with first cast. When I went back to cast, didn't realize the tree was there. Snagged the tree. Bad start to the day. I uh, got my jig caught. Had to cut my line. Uh, grabbed the wacky rig. Third or fourth cast in with that. Got snagged. Couldn't get it out. Had to cut the line. So now I am in the truck heading to Beaver Dam to pick up my cousin Nick and we are going to do some shore fishing in Fox Lake. We talked about taking the boats but there's a little bit more work we got to do on his and I remembered that I did not charge my batteries yet for the season. so. I don't know how much juice those have and don't want to risk taking that out. But this weekend, I definitely want to get one of the two boats out on the water and do a little fishing out on the lake. Um, but I will see you in Fox Lake. All right, guys, we made it here to the second spot. Uh, I'm going to try a little drop shot in here. I'm gonna bring some, I uh, got some yum warning shots, watermelon candy color. These are some juicy, juicy drop shot baits. And if they don't like that presentation, I got some power bait minnows here, uh, emerald shiner color. Uh, these should work, hopefully, if they're on a shad bite. And then I've also got some get bit baits. Uh, I can't remember the, act, the exact name of these, but, uh, they look like a watermelon, uh, purple, green flake combo here. Uh, these are going to be some awesome drop shot baits as well. Uh, we'll get out there, give it a shot. I'm going to start off rigging up the skip bit bait worm. Uh, they're actually a local company, local ash out of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Uh, I use their tubes all the time and absolutely love them. Uh, so this I'm just going to nose hook this worm and it's gonna just kind of dangle like that kind of imitate like uh, a bluegill or um, some shad whatever they're whatever they're hungry for Let's see if we can't catch something here I already see some stuff hitting the surface. 
Let's see if we can't catch something here. I'm gonna throw this juicy shad. I know. I thought I had a bite in uh, a Myra and it ended up being a snag. <laughs> I swear it tugged though. Maybe it was and it got me snagged. Right. I had to cut my line. Couldn't get it out. There it is. There we go. On the drop shot? Yep. This might... Oh, it is a bass. Okay. First bass of the 2020 season. Hell yeah. On the drop shot? On the drop shot. Look at that. She's a Butte Clark. Little two pounder. So here's that Berkeley shad I'm using in a drop shot. I don't know if it's hard to see that. It's like a, it's got, it's, it's silver, silver flake in it, a little darker on the top, like a smoke color imitates a shad and uh so there's my drop shot weight about a foot off the bottom then i'm dragging that and just kind of twitching it and imitating a, a shad it looks like someone lost a glove of ice fishing Little tree there <laughs> it's cast off this point Points, point to fish. It's a good tactic I've used. Go to the points.
All right, guys, time to switch it up a little. Do a little weightless Texas rig with a Senko watermelon red flake. Probably my favorite color Senko to use. Uh, this is my favorite six stick. Uh, Lou's Speed Spool Mach 2 Reel. And I've got 30 pound braid, uh, 10 pound fluorocarbon leader on this rod. Let's see if they'll bite the Senko. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, pretty decent first day out fishing. Uh, bass opener today caught one fish. Wish we'd have got a few more, but that's the way it goes sometimes. The uh, fish are a little lethargic so, now. They're still getting getting out of their winter mode here. Um, but yeah, go down, like this video, subscribe, and in the comments section, let me know some things that you might want to see on the channel. Um, some things I could do differently. I know it's my first video, so it's going to be a little, a little bad <laughs> for the first time, but, um, but yeah, please like subscribe. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.